Katie breezed through the qualifier with an almost flawless run. Ah! Then she used her cheerleading jumping skills to be the only female to emerge from the sweeper, and she continued to showcase her athletic prowess and determination on the brutal cookie cutter. Katie Mayfield at the top of Killer Surf and ready to go sledding. Like an Olympic wave there at the top of Killer Surf, and down she goes. Ouch. Oh, we take another look at it as she goes flying into the water of the wipeout zone. That is so brutal on the entry, but she is quickly up and on to the triangles. Let's see how she does. Wow, just racing across those triangles. It helps to be petite, and she, the triangles don't even move. She has such little weight as she goes across. But now she is at the spinner, which is clearly, from our first two contestants, the most difficult obstacle in the wipeout zone. The spinner is unforgiving, and Katie Mayfield makes her jump. Can she hang on? No, not even close. Remember, she's not out yet. She can make it if she has a flawless run from here. Look at it again. Desperately trying to hold on to everything she's worked for today. Dreams of the money, winning. All right, she's lost a lot of time. She's going to have to make it past the spinner at a record pace if she has any chance of beating Scott's time. Now she's got to make her way to the next platform. Oh, wow. Oh, and she's unable to even make the jump. That will do it for Katie Mayfield. Katie Mayfield couldn't make the jump, but she seems to, she's going to continue to finish jump. She is determined to finish the course. She's been determined all day, whether it was through the qualifying rounds or through the sweeper and the cookie cutter. She is just not going to make it through the wipeout zone in time. Though there'll be no victory for Katie Mayfield today, certainly, as you see, pride and accomplishment for this young woman. Let's go down to Jill. She's with Christian Redioff on deck. Okay, Christian, you're Mr. Extreme Sports now here. Does this fire you up? I'm pumped. It looks fun as hell. You are our final contestant. Do you think you can win this? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Go do it. Yes, ma'am. So this is what it comes down to. Christian, the course, and maybe the catch, 50K. Let's take a look at how Christian got here. Christian had a sense of humor on the qualifier and still managed to play third. He played head games in the sweeper. Oh, timer, that was close! And went all out on the cookie cutter, posting the second best time. He's at the top of killer surf. Christian must be the time of two minutes, three seconds to claim the $50,000. Off he goes, killer surf. Look at him, arms and legs flailing, trying to get over to that huge ladder leading up to the triangle. Not a clean entry to be sure, right up the ladder. He's a really good swimmer, that one. He is. If anyone can, can, can beat my time, it's gonna be him. Ladder climbing, that's a skill, don't underestimate that. Now Christian wasting little time over those triangles like a bull. Now it's the spinner. It all comes down to the spinner. And he is on in the first try, and he's got a great hold. Now he just has to get around to the other side and jump off on that platform. Taking an extra spin here, which is the good thing to do. Be ready. Don't fall off. Keep your time in order. And making it look easy. Now already on the blast off, and he's going to go standing up, John. He's not crawling. He is going to walk to victory. Christian ready off. Tremendous time, 55 seconds. Christian Redioff, ladies and gentlemen, our wipeout champion.